Welcome to another Headless Professor video. This one on the Poisson distribution. We use this distribution to get a probability when several key criteria have been met. One criterion is that the variable must be measured on a discrete ratio scale. Examples of variables that are frequently used with the Poisson distribution would be the occurrence of events, accidents, absences, defects, or customer complaints. These events must be independent in terms of the probability of their occurrence. The fact that one customer has just arrived should have no impact or influence on whether or not another customer will just arrive. Furthermore, the sample space used in the Poisson distribution is not looking at individual cases of our subjects, but a given time period, length, area, or volume. Here's one example. How many industrial accidents are there in a one-month period? How many traffic accidents are there in a 10-mile length of road? How many production defects are there in a 1,000 yards of cloth? How many dust particles are there in a 100,000 liter room? We have to use a Poisson table. The rows will represent how many events are actually observed. We'll call this x. This must be a whole number, and it cannot be a negative number. The columns will represent the expected frequency. This could be a population mean or other norm. Now the columns may be a decimal number, even though the individual values in our data set are positive integers or zero, their mean can be a decimal number. The Poisson chart tends to work best when the distribution has a left truncation and right skew. In other words, zero is often our mode and even sometimes our median for the Poisson values. This is an example of a Poisson chart for probability 0.1 and probability Two. The column on the left shows that we have four different rows representing zero occurrences, one occurrence, two occurrences, three occurrences, and four occurrences. Here's an example. What is the probability of having no accidents in a week where the average is 0.2 accidents? The observed frequency, the x row, would be zero to represent no accidents. The expected column would be 0.2. And so we look at that row, at that column, and we see that the probability for having zero accidents in that period of time would be about 82%. What is the probability of at least one accident in a week when the average is 0.2? Well, here we're going to be looking at the same column, the 0.2 column, but now we will add together all the frequencies representing one accident and more than one accident. In other words, two, three, or four accidents. We add those numbers together to get our answer.
the answer is 0.18. There's another way to get that same answer. We could just say 1 minus the probability of no accidents, 0.82, gives us the probability of one or more accidents, 0.18. Here's another example. What is the probability of having exactly three accidents in a week when the average accidents per week is 0.1? Here the observed frequency, x rho, would be 3. And the expected column would be 0.1. So lining up that row and that column, we now have the probability for exactly three accidents. And that's a pretty low probability, 0.0002. Now when the time period is longer than what the table might uh, refer to, we simply multiply uh, the expected frequency by the proportionate increase in that time period. If, for example, we were looking at a month and the expected frequency in a month was, uh, uh, was 1 for a given week, we would look at an expected frequency of 4 for a given uh, month. Now the Poisson tables uh, go up to an expected frequency of about 5. Now above that we have to use uh, some other technique and I would say that you might get by with uh, using the normal curve as an approximation. The chi-square is another very good alternative for expected and observed frequencies comparison. So what exactly does an extremely low probability prove? It merely means that your observed results are unlikely to conform to the frequencies expected by the Poisson distribution. You have had some degree of... This has been another Headless Professor video. Create your very own video podcast from PowerPoint. Log on to authorstream.com. It's absolutely free.